Hello, good morning friends. Today I am going to teach you about IV infusion drip rate or drops per minute. It will be very, very useful for the nurses who do practice in an hospital. So, first we have to know the question that is the doctor advised to administer 2500 ml in 24 hours that would be an NS or RL or DNS find auto drops per minute value for adult patient this will, will be the this will be the, the doctor advice for a nurses to administer the patient so we have to find out the drops per minute value for adult patient so we should know about the formula know about the formula that is the drops per minute formula what we can see is what we can see is drops per minute is equal to the total number of fluid to be administered multiplied by drop factor divided by time in minutes so so you, we will be knowing the amount of fluid to be administered that is doctor has advised to give 2500 ml the doctor is advised to give 2500 ml of NS in over 24 hours. So we do have the total number of total amount of fluid to be administered is 2500 and the drop factor for adult we don't know and the time in minutes is 24 hours. So we should know about the drop factor. The drop factor is very simple. The drop factor for adult is 20 drops. The drop factor for the pediatric is 60 drops. Here the drop factors are fixed constant it would it no, would not be changed for adults it's 20 20 drops for pediatric it's 60 drops so we'll go to the question by sorting out this problem we can clearly know how we can get the drops per minutes value for adult patient for <coughs> We know that we have the administer advised is uh, value is 2500 ml of NS and the drop factor for adults is 20 which is constant. The time in minutes is 24 hours. They have asked in minutes so we have to multiply by 60 that minute conversion. If you multiply 24 into 60 we will get a 1440 minutes so the 24 hours has been converted into minutes we applying formula drops per minutes formula is equal to total number of fluids to be administered into drop factor divided by time in minutes we all know total number of fluids to be administered is 2500 and the drop factor is 20 and the time in minutes is 1440. We should substitute that into that. That is 2500 into 20 divided by 1440. That would be simplified to 5000 divided by 1440. That is accurately 34.72222 will be a recurring. So, 34.72 so we have a round figure to 35 drops so we can't give exactly 34.72 drops per minute so we are round figure with 35 drops per minute so the answer for the so the answer for this question the doctor this question the drops per minute value is 35 drops per minute if we fix the ns for 35 drops per minute within 24 hours we will be finishing 2500 ml of normal saline this is very simple just we have to concentrate on the formula and substitution we can see here it has been asked for drops per minute if they ask for drops per hour we should not convert hours into minutes so 
the substitution will be 2500 into 20 divided by 24 for hours for 24 for hours according by substituting it by simplifying we can get the drops per hour value so i hope this formula this video will helpful for you have a great time with you bye bye